Thanks, Matt. Thanksgiving weekend at the Da Vinci Science Center will be filled with feasts and family fun. This morning, we're giving you a preview of a program called Play With Your Food as we kick off a new season of Up and Adam Science. Eve is in the kitchen with Da Vinci CEO Troy Thrash and educator Suzanne Horst to tell us more. Eve? Haciel, good morning. Yes, we have our uh, lab coats on that we missed so much, much over the summer. Okay. Troy and Suzanne joining me, as Haciel mentioned good morning. Uh, this morning. Good morning. So we're so excited. A new season of Up and Adam Science, backed by popular demand. That's right. And Troy, my friend, this time we are focusing on the science around us, which I know is a, a big theme for you guys over at the center as well. That's right. We're really changing the theme for these segments, but we're also changing the theme at the Da Vinci Science Center as well. We talk about an educational institution, how science is so important in education, how science is so important in kids going into the workforce, but really for the community itself. It's important that people know that science is all around us. Math is all around us yeah. every day in everything we do. And so we're going to start, of course, with this segment. Also then flowing into this weekend, our great Thanksgiving activities. Yeah, and a lot going on uh, this weekend at the right. center, right? And I, I think a lot of people might not think about science when they sit down at the Thanksgiving dinner mm -hmm. table. But mm -hmm. it is around us even at Thanksgiving, right? It is, and we're going to have all sorts of play with your food activities. Love we're going it. to be doing two activities today, but we'll have some other activities where we're, kids can come and learn about acids and bases and cranberry juice cocktail. Oh, we're going to have a very popular shooting gallery. Oh. We're going to have carrot cannons. We're going to have marshmallow shooters learning all about the physics of shooting the food. It's going to be oh, a lot of fun. Sounds like fun. All right, something for the parents or grandparents to do with the little ones while they're home from school. Mm -hmm. And Suzanne, I know you're going to run us through a little preview activity sure. to all the Absolutely. fun Troy just mentioned this uh -huh. morning. So potatoes, having some fun playing with potatoes this morning, yes, right? Yes, we uh, have a program that we're going to be doing there. It's called Potato Power. Okay. And it's a Da Vinci Science spin on the classic potato battery. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to get the most voltage out of these three different options here. We have a yam, a regular russet potato, and some mashed potatoes. So, Eve, I'll let you pick first. Which one do you think is going to be the highest voltage that oh we're going to my. produce from each I've one? I've never uh, measured voltage on potatoes before. Uh, let's go. Let's go with the yam. Okay, sure. So, oh, she always the chooses ends. the sweet one, doesn't she? <laughs> sorry, <laughs> okay. sorry. That's okay. Is that all right, Troy? I, I okay. think we're good. All right, sure. Thank you. Okay. The next thing that we need to do is we have two electrodes right here. We have a zinc electrode and a copper electrode. And what's this going to do is you're just going to put it into. Uh, in my case, I have mashed potatoes okay. here. But mm -hmm. there's two slits right there. If you guys just kind of insert in those two okay. slits. Okay. All right. Love it. So this is what the kids can do this weekend. Absolutely. Right? Yep. Okay. Oops. Oh my. My, my more muscles than I Getting thought. <laughs> Okay, I'm ready. Okay. And then after you guys have that hooked up, you're going to take your little alligator clips here. Be okay. careful because they bite. Okay. And oh. you're going to hook one on each electrode that we have here. Okay. Doesn't matter which goes. Nope. Doesn't matter. Okay. And then you should have a reading on your voltmeter there. Make sure that it's on. Okay. And right now I have a reading of uh, 0.7. Looks like, Eve, you have a 0.8 reading, mm -hmm. uh, 0.8 volts. Mm -hmm. And Troy, looks like you have a 0.9 volts mm -hmm. on your potato there. Okay. Yeah. Well, okay. That feels good. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what we're going to do next is we're going to try to make a circuit. Okay, so we're going to make a series circuit in our oh vaults here this is so fun. and try to see if we can power I haven't a clock. done this since like the fourth grade, I think. <laughs> so we're actually now working on creating a, a, a battery. Okay. Ultimately yes. through our, our potatoes. I want to just leave those sure. on now. All right. And so what we're doing here is we're connect connecting all the electrons here. That's what electricity is. It's just really electrons flowing. Um, from one area to another to, to make a circuit. Who knew potatoes could be used mm. for this? Right I'll tell you, you know, I, I read that somebody in Portland actually used 500 pounds of potatoes wow. to power a small sound system. Oh, wow. So for those viewers awesome. at home, if you have 500 pounds of potatoes right. left over, you're welcome to give it a shot. You know, Haciel might because he is making the potatoes for his Thanksgiving dinner. Oh, so I know, right? I know he went shopping for a lot of potatoes, so maybe he'd like to make a little uh, circuit right. before he makes his Thanksgiving <laughs> potatoes. Absolutely. So we should get this to power up. Okay, and as Suzanne's doing that, Troy, remind us uh, when things get started. Friday, the activities start at, at Da Vinci? That's correct. It's Friday through Monday. 
Okay. And Friday it'll be from 11 to 3, Saturday 11 to 3, Monday 11 to 3 as well, and then Sunday 12 to 4. And all the activities we're doing here and those others that we talked about will be on display for kids of all ages. Super. And folks can go to DaVinciScienceCenter.org for more information. And Suzanne, what did you do to finish it up here? So what I did is I attached these um, alligator clips and I made a uh, series circuit here. And what happens is uh, we have, it takes about 1.5 volts to power um, uh, this, this digital clock right here. And so what I did is I just hooked up this digital clock and we have the electrons flowing, powering this clock. And uh, we're able to make a series circuit. Love it. Who knew? A new use for your potatoes, everyone, mm -hmm. this Thanksgiving. Uh, love it. Thank you, guys. Thank Coming you. up, we're going to be uh, flying some turkeys, playing with some yes. flying turkeys. We have uh, Tannery the turkey here, oh. which we're going to discover <laughs> oh, to be see careful. if, uh, you know, turkeys that can actually might fly. stick, so uh, <laughs> thank you for that. Tannery. And uh, speaking of Tannery, coming up in just a few minutes, the moment you have been waiting for, ladies and gentlemen, all summer long. Who won our Making Things Challenge? The votes are in. Are you nervous? Uh, slightly. Okay. <laughs> yes. All right. We'll tell you after this break. Stay with us. Thank you, Rick. We're talking about the science around us at the Thanksgiving dinner table today. Eve is in the kitchen once again with our friends from the Da Vinci Science Center. And this time, they're doing something fun with a flying turkey. Eve, I heard that turkey's named after you. Yeah, what was it called again? Tannery tur Turkey Tannery? Or yes, Tannery, tur tannery Turkey. Tannery Turkey. Mm -hmm. Oh, so clever. All right, well, we are back with Tannery Turkey, our, our beloved turkey here, and we are talking about the Thanksgiving science around us. Troy and Suzanne joining me once again. So what are we doing with Tannery Turkey here? Well, um, do you know if turkeys can fly or not? Uh, I would say no. I see them just walking around more than I see them ever flying. Mm -hmm. I would have thought with 3,500 feathers, maybe one or two yeah, of them, one of them get would, them off would, the ground, would work. Apparently not. You would think. Right, All right, right, maybe they're just for decoration. Sure. So right. turkeys actually can fly wild turkeys. Usually domestic oh, okay. ones, since we kind of breed them to be so big for Thanksgiving feasts. They're not usually the flyers, but wild turkeys do fly up in trees to roost. Okay. So we have a model turkey here that I just want to demonstrate with our wind tube here. Mm -hmm. We have a high power fan, and we're going to see if this tannery turkey. Turkey can fly. Oh, all right. Well, let's all right. hope she doesn't so let's let us down here. Put her on top. She's probably the one who doesn't fly. All right. Whoa, you can kind of see yeah. that she is flying. Now I'm going to try from the bottom and see if we can get her to oh, fly. Her. Her. Wow, she's so she is beautifully. Just, she is so athletic. Over there and all the way up. How beautiful she is. All right, I love that. Wonderful flyer. So yeah. we have a bunch of things, and this is going to be as part of our um, Thanksgiving weekend uh, projects mm -hmm. and things. So if you guys want to kind of sample some of the different uh, things that you can All make right. or do and just kind of put it in the wind tube. Okay, so do I put and it just in down of, here? Yeah, just okay, put it down so I have, the I have this little uh, butterfly. It's very cute. All right, let's give this a try. Oh yeah, look at look at that go. All right. And this so works for okay. eight yeah, kids of all ages. Got your, your standard household cereal bowl here. Yes. Learning about the aerodynamics. Whoa, Whoa, Troy, what a show off you <laughs> are. Look at that. And this is a little homemade something. I'm not sure. Let's give this a whirl. Oh, okay. That didn't get the height that yours did. Oh, it's here getting it goes. There. Just give it's it a moment. So that spin on that one. Yeah. It's covering. Okay, so lots of fun little uh, little doodads That's here to right. try out. And Troy, again, this is all in preparation for some fun Thanksgiving activities going on at the center this weekend. Excuse me while I keep playing with this. <laughs> oh, no, you, you keep playing. Yes, okay. this, this is going to oh, be one's... one of several activities that we have going on at the center from Friday through Monday. Yeah. Again, playing with our food oh. and learning all about the, the science that's all around us on Thanksgiving. Super. I'm going to be here all day playing with this, just trying all sorts of different objects. And another big exhibit get, gets going on Friday, right? Build it up? Yes, yes. We have a new exhibit coming called Kiva Build It Up. As you recall, the summer of manufacturing, we had how people make things, and we had an amazing summer where kids really learned all about the manufacturing process. Well, now we're bringing in Kiva Build It Up. It's sponsored by Alvin H. Butts Construction in Landmark Communities, right. and it's all about construction. It's all about architecture, and people are going to be able to use these four-inch perfectly milled blocks to build hmm. buildings, to build any sort of, of architectural structure stories high. It's pretty amazing oh, and, and it's going to be at the center for the next four months and probably even longer. Super. Okay, that gets going again on Friday. DaVinciScienceCenter.org right. right there on your screen right. for more information. And now, the moment we have all been waiting for. I know our viewers have been on the edge of their seats all summer long wondering yes. who won the Up and Adam Making Things Challenge, which we did at the end of our last season. That's right. That's mm -hmm. right. Well, I am... It gives me great pleasure to announce that the winner yes. 
of yes. the Make It Challenge is Miss oh. Eve Tannery. Oh, Congratulations. In fact, Eve, you won in a landslide. Really? 89% of the vote Suzanne. to 11% <laughs> of the vote thank for you. the Da Vinci Science Center. My mom staff. and dad must have been very busy voting. For and, weeks. And, and I think I'm my sure. children were also very busy voting oh, for, you. Uh, for you as thank well. Thank you. They're so, very sweet. So, congratulations. And what we're going to do, as promised, is we are going to give you a lab coat of your own. So, we're going to have to talk after the show. I, I need okay. to know what kind of style yes. fabric oh, we want wow. to fling it wow. out for you. So is you leather know. okay? Something leather mm. and with maybe with a little belt or something? Might Troy be a little warm <laughs> in the summer in the lab, but we'll see. Troy said, would you like a bigger lab coat than this? I said, I think I want to, you know, fit it a little That's more right. slimming. Nice right, Suzanne? Yes. Yep. You know, it has to yeah. be stylish. All right, so lots more fun coming up with our friends from the Da Vinci Science Center as our next season gets going. We'll have all of this information we talked about today on our website, WFMZ.com, or you can go to, Vin to DaVinciScienceCenter.org. Right, guys, thank you. Happy Thanksgiving. Well, thank you. Thanks Happy for, Thanksgiving uh, to everyone. Thanks for getting us in the spirit here this morning. Stay with us, everybody. We'll be right back after these messages.